Sarah Ferguson left the royal fold when she split from Prince Andrew, but she managed to maintain a healthy relationship with her in-laws. Ferguson continued to attend family gatherings, but Prince Philip never got over the Duchess of York's public mishap. But she couldn't get close to the Queen because Philip didn't like her very much at all, Lizzie Cundy claimed on GB News. In August of 1992, images of Ferguson and her financial advisor John Bryan made headlines when Bryan was seen caressing the redhead's feet while on vacation. Well, Prince Philip actually never forgave her for that toe-sucking scandal, Cundy continued. And poor Sarah had to come downstairs at breakfast when it was all over the front pages of the paper. Despite Ferguson and Andrew's public breakup, she continued to support her ex-husband, and the pair still lives together in the Royal Lodge. Andrew was away for about 70% of their marriage, Cundy explained. He was away with the Navy. Sarah had a very, very lonely time being married to Prince Andrew, but I love her loyalty. She stayed by his side through thick and thin, and the Queen actually adored Sarah, she added. Ferguson has been supportive of Andrew despite his public scandal with Jeffrey Epstein, and the Duke of York cared for the Duchess of York after her mastectomy and is expected to be there for her as he recovers from her recent melanoma diagnosis. And I know we all wish her well through this really tough time, the former model shared in support of the reality star. She's a strong cookie. You'll be fine, Sarah. We're all rooting for you. OK previously reported the mom of two updated fans about her health in an Instagram post. I have been taking some time to myself as I have been diagnosed with malignant melanoma, a form of skin cancer, my second cancer diagnosis within a year after I was diagnosed with B, cancer this summer and underwent a mastectomy and reconstructive surgery, Ferguson wrote in a caption. It was thanks to the great vigilance of my dermatologist that the melanoma was detected when it was, she continued. Over the summer, Ferguson was honest about her recovery process and was appreciative of her fans and the medical professionals who assisted her. She admitted the news was a shock, but she is in good spirits and grateful for the many messages of love and support. I am resting with family at home now, feeling blessed to have their love and support, she concluded. Prior to Ferguson's social media post, the Yorks attended the Royal Christmas Walk together, but shortly after the event, documents from Epstein's case were unsealed and further implicated Andrew. According to the excerpts, Andrew was accused of groping a woman, referred to as Jane Doe III, when she was a teen. Royal editor Charlotte Griffiths predicted Ferguson would be drafted in on wifely duties while Andrew returns to a recluse lifestyle.